Hey everyone, Nick Van Steel with Timber Tiger Aircraft here. This week's video, we're going to focus on something that may affect you. As you know, if you're building an airplane or if you have built an airplane before, it can be pretty tough to stay motivated. So this video is going to focus on motivation and how to maintain that. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. The first tip we have for you is to watch this video at least once a month and the reasoning for that is in our busy life it can be easy to forget things right so come back to this video remind yourself of, of steps you can take to stay motivated that's that's a big thing also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow Jeff Deaton on Instagram uh, we'll put a link here uh, to his page but he does some amazing filmography with his uh, with his Timber Tiger STL. So we've been manufacturing our STL kit for a number of years now, and we started the Jenny last year, and we'll start the Speedster this year. Um, but over those years, one thing that we found out is our builders, our customers, our more experienced builders, like to start with uh, typically the wings or tail surfaces first, or what they'll do is they'll sit down and start all the little bracketry, all the little tiny things through the whole airplane. Wings, tail surfaces, fuselage, Whatever it is, if they have little tiny things to make, they'll make those first because that's the boring, tedious work. And when you first get your project, your motivation is at, is at a high. And that's because it's new. It's fresh to you. So get all that really tedious, boring stuff out of the way first. And as the project matures, as you become a little more used to it, um, as you uh, have a higher chance of getting bored, that bracketry is already done. You'll be able to focus on the more important things to you. Um, getting the seats installed so you can make airplane noises. That's a big one, right? Uh, so get the brackets made. Again, a lot of people like to make the tail surfaces and wings first. You can get those made. Hang them up out of the way on the wall. And once motivation starts to diminish, if that's the point where you're starting your fuselage, excellent, because then you can see things really start to take a form, right? Every airplane has wings, every airplane has tail surfaces. It's in a lot of cases, the fuselage that really defines what the airplane is, right? So you can get your controls installed, you can get your seats installed, you can sit in it and make airplane noises, you can sit in it, put the windscreen on if you have to and see, do you need to sit higher? Do you need to sit lower? You know, those kinds of things. Let your imagination run wild, sit in it and pretend that you know you've got the wings off of either side and you're flying over your favorite scenery that's uh one of the most important things you could do just keep it alive with your imagination and speaking of imagination one of the things that timber tiger aircraft does is we have a bunch of um color templates paint scheme templates for our stl and um jenny and speedster and what that allows you to do is play with paint schemes Right? A lot of people plan a paint scheme early on and then get fixated. It's got to be this color. We really strongly suggest that if you get bored, you might want to rethink um, being committed to that paint scheme. Don't commit till the very end of the project. Okay? So in our STL, in the, in, in the case of the STL, if you are fixed on a military paint scheme, all right, when you start to find yourself lacking motivation during the build, go back and explore a civilian paint scheme. You're not committed to anything until the end of the project, so why commit yourself now? You're welcome to email us. We have those on hand. If you want a paint scheme template, we're happy to email it to you. It comes in a bitmap format, so you could do it on your computer, or you can even print them off and do them the old school way with markers and um, colored pencils or whatever. So uh, yeah, that's huge. Let us know if you need those. And speaking of pictures, we also have photos on hand, uh, professional photos for, for a lot of our airplanes. And uh, like this guy here, you know, we can get big banners made for you. If you're building an STL, this banner right here is six feet by four feet, a lot bigger than it looks in the video. And you can hang these up in your shop or in your hangar. 
So sometimes it's good just to have a banner there so you know what it is you're working toward. You sometimes need a very visual reminder. And a lot of our builders, I mean, look at what we're manufacturing here. A lot of our builders are very visual people. So that's, that's huge. Another thing people like to do during times of boredom is plan the little details, right? Instrument panel stuff. Um, in the case of our Jenny, maybe you're planning out your hinges on your cowling because those little accent details are what make the airplane uh, stand out, right? So that's fine, but don't start planning those too early. All right, plan those during times of boredom, um, when you're lacking motivation. It's fine to plan those, but don't really start building them until the end of the project. Why don't you want to build them now? If you build those types of things too soon in the project, all you're doing is burning time, all right? Your airplane, like an STL here, is made up of a lot of things. Fuselage, wings, landing gear, stabilizers. It can't fly without those but it may be able to fly without that fancy little placard you have on your dash that costs you 10 times too much to make, right? Those kinds of things can be done at any time. Don't worry about that stupid little stuff now. Now, if you wanna plan it, that stupid little stuff's not so stupid. That stuff is what keeps you motivated. So do the planning now, building later. And of course, one of the biggest things to stay motivated is to organize your time properly. We do have another video on that and I strongly suggest you watch that. Um, in that video, we also cover allowing other people to help you on your project or inviting them to help you on your project. Uh, there are some important notes on that too because inviting people to help you can either speed you up or slow you down. Um, and depending on your goals, slower might be okay uh, as long as you're maintaining the motivation. Okay, motivation shouldn't be confused with moving fast necessarily. And also don't forget about your local EAA chapter. Like everything, it's a balance, all right? It could take time and it can uh, really add a lot to your project. I strongly suggest you look into your into joining your EAA chapter. But just meeting and talking to other people who are doing similar things can really help you out. All right, because you know that you have a family out there. You know you have uh, a community, and you're not alone working. And that's a big thing because people will say, "Hey, I want to come see your project," and "Hey, I want to help." And again, all that's fine. Don't let it slow you down. Um, but if it adds to your build experience then do it, why wouldn't you? So I hope this helps. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook as well. And check out Captain Jeff on Instagram for his awesome videos. And if you have any questions, comments, be sure to let us know in the, in the comments section. Until next time, stay safe.